Rattlesnakes are a vital part of the natural food chain in San Diego and around the globe, but researching snakes, well, that's a big challenge. Now new technology is changing that, and it's happening here at a local level for the first time. CBS 8's Evan Narani has more in this week's Earth 8 report. We've all heard the threatening rattle telling predators they've come too close. But for researchers trying to understand rattlesnakes in the wild, their technology has never quite cut it. They are not built the way that we are built. They're very, very low energy ectothermic animals that spend like 99% of their time sitting still, not moving, trying to remain hidden, either from their own predators or hidden from their prey so they can ambush their prey. If you sit and try to watch a snake the way you would watch a bird, you will see nothing. That's 46.1. That is until new technology has allowed for an innovative new way to follow these creatures by attaching non-invasive trackers. Researchers are now using glue and thread as opposed to a surgical process, allowing them to track 75 data points a second, 24 hours a day on these snakes. They shared this video with us as the transmitters were attached. The goal of the project eventually is to build like this really comprehensive, fine scale behavioral data set from this very important species so we can understand kind of its ecological relationship to other animals in the environment and their relationship to each other and all sorts of other important things about its conservation and ecology. You ready? The partnership between the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance and San Diego State University comes at a vital time Perfect. as our county becomes more urban, destroying populations of native snakes. We like to build in this habitat and we like to live in it. So right off the bat, they, they're losing their habitat. The habitat is fragmented, which is disrupts gene flow. So, you know, the genetics are getting all torn apart because these animals can't reach each other. Roads are a big problem with that and with actually killing the snakes. Moving. Researchers hope the data will uncover how snake behavior has adapted or failed to adapt, which could determine how we as humans can keep their population stable. If you think down the line, you can use that kind of information to plan out roads, to plan out infrastructure, to plan wildlife crossings. The research is all taking place on 900 acres of undeveloped land around the San Diego Zoo Safari Park, home to 16 species of native snakes, more than any other site in Southern California. They're very important predators. They control the populations of rats and rabbits and squirrels and things like that. But they're also an important food source for a lot of other predators, such as birds of prey, uh, bobcats, coyotes, foxes, things like that. Big part of the, of the food chain. It all helps to inform our understanding of the larger role these creatures play and how we can protect their biodiversity. Evan Nirani, CBS 8.